Hey guys, Moto Machine here. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn on notifications to support me making more videos. Before we get into the details of why you should one wheel, you should know what a one wheel is. The brainchild of Kyle Dirksen, Future Motion was founded in 2014 in Mountain View, California. Dirksen's journey began eight years prior, tinkering on his own to develop a device that would give the rider an experience that they could hardly believe. In 2014, Dirksen launched the One Wheel original on Kickstarter. The campaign was a success, raising $630,000, which far exceeded the $100,000 goal. The One Wheel Original, which had a range of 4 to 6 miles per charge and a top speed of 13 miles per hour, was released in 2015. One Wheel moved to Santa Cruz in 2018. All manufacturing is done in Santa Cruz at their 60,000 square foot facility. The One Wheel Original was replaced with the One Wheel Plus in 2017, followed by the One Wheel Plus XR in 2018. Each model was an improvement on the prior model in terms of technology, range, and speed. In 2019, Future Motion released the Pint, a smaller, more nimble, and more affordable One Wheel. The current lineup consists of the One Wheel Plus XR and the One Wheel Pint. The XR is a heavy-duty flagship boasting an impressive 12 to 18 mile range and a top speed of 19 miles per hour. It retails for a whopping $1,799. It is currently featured in the Race for the Rail event created by One Wheel. A cash prize race on mountain trails, the Race for the Rail event showcases the rugged and fun capabilities of riding the One Wheel, especially off-road. The Pint, in comparison, is a much more nimble and compact one wheel geared towards city riding, with a range of 6 to 8 miles and a top speed of 16 miles per hour. Lighter and with smaller dimensions, the Pint can be more easily carried and transported. It even passes FAA and TSA guidelines for air travel as a carry-on with a battery capacity of 147 watt hours which is under the 160 watt hour limit imposed by the TSA. It retails for a comparatively affordable $950. Now, to answer the question of why one wheel. Riding a one wheel is unlike other similar devices such as electric skateboards. It does not require a remote. The one wheel self balances and uses the rider's shift in weight to control the direction of travel. It is likened by many to be the closest sensation to carving down a mountain on a snowboard or carving on a wave on a surfboard. The ride is also described as floaty. One wheels are rugged and durable, capable of handling most crashes and a plethora of abuse with ease. The large, wide tire makes going over obstacles in your path a breeze yet it is nimble, capable of making tight turns and even going backwards. If you are the daring type, you can do plenty of tricks on the one wheel much like skateboarders do. Note to those of you who are salivating at the notion of buying a one wheel. There are a few considerations before you invest into purchasing one. First, unless you have an extensive familiarity with board sports or are just a quick learner, 
There is a learning curve to riding the one wheel. There are always used one wheels for sale online with extremely low miles, which indicates people simply had experiences that did not meet their expectations. Although the one wheel is a pretty easy and fun device to ride, it does require a bit of practice to master. Personally, coming from a sports oriented background and prior board sport experience, it took me about two days and about 20 miles to really feel comfortable riding. But I did take it over all types of terrain and riding conditions to get a good feel for my pint's riding characteristics. For the casual rider looking to just cruise around on well paved roads, about 30 minutes to an hour should have you feeling confident enough. Second, it is not a matter of if you will crash, it is just a matter of when. By the very nature of riding any type of board, there is a 100% chance you will fall off your board. Dress accordingly. At minimum, wear a helmet. I personally suggest wearing knee pads, shin guards, elbow pads, wrist guards, gloves, and motocross chest protectors. If you plan to do anything more than just putt around casually, I will put links in the description below to gear that I personally use or recommend. Collarbone injuries, wrist injuries, and leg related injuries are common. Wearing the correct gear will minimize the possibility of a serious injury. If you are prone to injuries or have major medical issues, perhaps video games are more suited for you. Third and most importantly, respect the pushback. Pushback is a feature that will tilt the board back when you are stressing the motor to the point where it cannot sustain balance. Usually, this occurs when you are pushing the maximum speed. Other instances can be low battery or battery overcharged due to regenerative braking. A YouTube search of one wheel nosedive should give you an idea of the serious repercussions of not heeding the pushback warning. Top speed, top speed. Okay. Uh, Finally, a one wheel is pricey by most people's standards. Before you buy one, I would suggest renting one or trying out a friend's. There are several companies that rent out one wheels and will even ship them to your house. One company, Subrents, at subrents.com, will send you a brand new board to demo. You get to choose the duration of the demo, and if you decide to keep it, you just pay the remaining cost of the board. They even ship it for free. I am not sponsored by Subrents, but I did look into demo when I was first getting into the one wheel. Hopefully I haven't scared you off from trying a one wheel. Remember, the important thing isn't about getting to a destination, but enjoying the ride there. That is something that can be applied to all aspects of your life and the one wheel definitely delivers on an enjoyable experience that will put a permanent smile on your face. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end. If you have any questions about the one wheel or any suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment below. As always, keep the rubber side down, be safe, and see you on the next video.